Hello my Share Bears, welcome back. Today's video is a shopper's haul. Um, this is over a few different shopping type things online. None of these were bought in store. Um, one of them was something I had actually bought before and it was going to be a Christmas gift for my daughter but decided against it. Instead I got something else for her. So it's a little bonus item for me. Uh, another item was something, well, actually two of them. There's something I thought I would never purchase but ended up purchasing them and I'm quite happy that I did purchase them. So I will get right into it. This may be a little bit of a long video. I'm going to try not to do too many swatches but you never know what's going to happen. So the first item I have is the one that I had actually bought for my daughter for Christmas and ended up buying her something else which I'm sure she enjoys way more than what I originally was going to give her and that is the Christmas in New York chocolate shop palette um, from Too Faced. This was actually an item that I gave away in my map giveaway and I kind of wanted it for myself anyway so I'm glad that the other item came up. I'm sure this has been talked to death. I am not going to get into swatches on this. Needless to say, I now have the Grand Hotel and I have the Chocolate Shop and I'm quite happy to have them. I actually think this may still still be available, but I am not sure if it is. I will leave it linked in the description box down below. The next item is another item that I actually said I probably wouldn't get because I had heard a bad review and then I seen a decent review on it and then I seen somebody after I had already bought it actually did a look with it and I'm glad I had bought it and that's because I actually like this company and I don't have an issue with their eyeshadows and I was actually sad when I heard the one YouTuber say that they didn't like it so I'm happy that I bought it because I have heard decent reviews on it and that is the Tartiste Pro Palette. I know that they're saying that these are a lot like other Tarte colors. I have quite a few Tarte palettes and these colors are not like a lot of colors I have in my Tarte palette so I'm happy that I have it. These are all mattes and for the most part I think they all work really well. I don't find them muddying up on me. Um, these are supposed to be duochromes. Of course anybody who has been watching YouTube knows that there's only one in here that is an actual duochrome and that is trendy which is this one and it reminds me of I think it's matte blue brown in the duochromeness otherwise these are just like a shimmer or a glitter that you can put on these do last all day on me but I as I've said I have never had problems with the tart palettes or eyeshadows and my favorite all-time palette is the Tardist in Bloom. It'll be a palette I 
repurchase when I run out. But this I love because it's so pretty. And you have a really good range of matte eyeshadows in here. So I, if you are into Tarte shadows, buy it. If you're not, then these perform like the Tartist and Bloom shadows. If you can't get the Tartist and Bloom shadows to work for you, this probably isn't going to work for you. And it is relatively expensive, but like I said, I kind of like Tarte eyeshadows. The other item I said I would probably never buy for myself is the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I don't know why I went. I have this one and this one. I should have that one too. I will tell you I will not be buying the white chip. There is nothing in that palette that even remotely calls to me. There's like one decent shade in there and all the rest of them are light. But I have used this since I bought it and I'm glad I bought it. This is an old palette. It's nothing spectacular if you know the Too Faced line, but I do like it and I've gotten quite a few good looks out of it. Uh, I know it's not the most bought one. I think the original is the most bought Too Faced palette. But I'm happy I have this and I am using it so it can't be all bad. Two items I've got are lipsticks. This one I got based on YouTube saying that these were such good lip colors. And I'm going to have to agree. This is a Too Faced lipstick and it's in Spice Spice Baby. I have been wearing this quite a bit since I got it. I haven't been wearing the other one yet, but these are not stay in place lipsticks. They have to be reapplied. Yes, they are a little expensive, but and I say I love lipsticks. The other lipstick I got, neither one of these are liquid lipsticks. How about that? The other lipstick I got was an Urban Decay. And it is a comfort matte. And this is in Safe Word. And when they released all their lipsticks, and people were swatching them. This was the one that kept calling my name and I'm glad I got it because it is perfect shade. I love it. This is in Safe Word. The other one that was calling my name was Backtalk and upon looking at it online I decided that Safe Word was the better pick for me. Then I decided I needed to look at brushes because I'm an, I'm a brush freak. I'm always looking at makeup brushes online and I love especially eye makeup brushes. So I ended up picking up a Sephora brand airbrush crease brush and this is what it looks like and I have not used it yet but I do intend to use it very soon. Now the last two items I got were the items that I also bought two of each and this is what I replaced the chocolate shop for for my daughter and that is the Sweet Peach and the Sweet Peach Glow Kit. 
I got both these for my daughter and I'm pretty sure she's happier with these than she would ever be with the Christmas in New York. She of course knew that she was getting this. She did not know she was getting this. So I have actually used these. Uh, I have used these. I have not touched these yet because obviously I have entirely too much makeup. But I also haven't been doing a lot of makeup because I've just been so busy. So it's reach for your best and go for it. I will say that this smells straight up like fuzzy peaches. Fuzzy peaches. It does not smell like peach. It smells like candy peach. It, it smells like straight up candied peach. You can smell it through the box. It's awesome. These are warm shades. Like I said, I've been going for the warm shades lately. I'm waiting for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance to come back in stock because I will be picking it up. I'm not going to lie about that. As soon as I can get it, I'm getting it. I'm actually getting two because my daughter also wants it. But I have done a couple of eye looks with this and I have to say overall I am very very pleased with it. There are some that don't show up too well on me but they are the lighter. I have not found these to be too hard to blend. There's many different eye looks and I know that one of the complaints about the Sweet Peach palette was that when you hear peach, you think peach. But if you had an entire palette made with just peach colors, how many looks do you think you could get? I think that every color that Too Faced chose to put in this works well with the peach colors that are in here. That's my thought on it. I like it. You can't just have peach. You just can't. It's not going to look right. But the brown colors have a little bit of peach undertone. The purple works great with the peach. The bless her heart and tempting work great with the peach. I think that it's beautiful. I love it. And I'm happy I purchased it. I stayed up to purchase it. We were refreshing screens to make sure we got it. It, of course, is still in stock. The only thing I wasn't interested in getting was the blush. Because I don't wear a lot of peach colored blushes. So, But... I was interested, like I need more highlighters because I use so much, right? But I was interested in this because of the coloring of it. And so the last item I did purchase from Sephora is the Sweet Peach Glow Kit. As I said, I did get this from my daughter too. It does smell like peach. And I love it. I have not used this on my face, but it is beautiful colors. Um, it is a highlighter blush and a bronzing palette um, I don't know that I would use a lot of the bronzer just because it is shimmery but I think it looked nice over a blush overlay I love the blush has a little bit of shimmer just enough to add a glow and the highlighter is awesome plus <laughs> so loving this can't wait to use it more and I think that it'll be on 
my use it for the next couple weeks at least. So that's everything for this haul. Um, there will be more coming because I've been kind of on a shopping kick looking for all sorts of neat stuff. So there will be more coming. Uh, I won't apologize. I'm not going to say that I'm going to do a no buy and know that it's going to kill me not to get certain things. So that's how it is. So I ask you to look in the description box down below. Make sure you go over to Sharice's channel and ask to be entered in for a chance at her giveaway. I personally wish I wasn't a MAB member right now because I'd love to enter her giveaway. She has not one but two fantastic companies in it. So please go over and say enter me and also make sure you're subscribed to all the ladies of MAB. Make sure your profile is public please. I will leave links to all these products in my description box with the exception of maybe the Too Faced Christmas in New York because that may not be available anymore. Um, other than that, I think that's everything. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Much love and bye for now.